Hi, I'm Vanessa Marana from Switched at Birth, and you're watching Shine On Media. I can't tease much about season 3B because a lot happens. There's a lot of surprises, a lot of twists and turns, but Emmett and Bay are back together and just trying to figure out what the, the next step in their life is because they're all going off to college. Well, Bay wants to go to art school, so she's doing a lot in her art portfolio. Uh, but the issue with that is, is that she isn't really considering any other options besides one particular school, so we'll see how that works out for her. Well, the groundbreaking part for my character, Regina on Switched at Birth, is that I get to be happy for a few minutes. Regina has been tortured for many seasons and she actually gets a little bit of bliss. In in this season, Toby uh, just comes back from Iceland, his, you know, um, self-exploration um, solo trip to kind of, you know, get over his feelings uh, and the, the tribulation of, of, you know, having a divorce when he's 19 years old. He kind of comes back with a, a newfound energy and, and passion to get back into his music, but this time he's going to go into more of the electronic music uh, side of things, getting into DJing and all that stuff, and in the interim he, uh, he finds uh, another lady that might... Um, help keep his mind off of uh, his divorce. John has to deal with a lot of emotional upheaval. Uh, not so much personal, but events around him. From the beginning of Switched at Birth, Daphne's been pretty level-headed and pretty smart. And I think that she handled the switch incredibly well, as opposed to Bay's character, who kind of maybe didn't handle it so well at first and had some like discovering to do about herself. And um, since Daphne never really took that time in season one to figure out who she is and what it all means to her, she does it in this season. And it sort of gets brought upon um, by a, a very traumatic event and Daphne's reaction to it is just kind of kind of sad. It's kind of poor and, and she has to really rediscover who she is and figure out what she wants it all over again. I think of all of the seasons we've had, this is the most dramatic 10 that we've ever had. The biggest shocker this season is um, it's that big traumatic event that happens halfway through the season. When you think no, that can't possibly happen. How can that happen? Because if that happens, how do we continue? And it's groundbreaking and, well, 27 years as an actress, I have never had to shoot something as hard as I have. And um, I'm glad it's over because it was really difficult. But uh, the interesting thing for the show is that it, it affects every single character and it sends everybody off into a new direction. But I think Daphne takes it the hardest and she kind of goes very far down the dark path. I can tease that uh, Leah Thompson and myself get to work our comedic side a little bit, which is something, whenever she and I have a scene together, is hilarious. We actually get to be funny, and it's almost like um, Angie Lopez from George Lopez and Caroline from Caroline and City are doing a scene together, and we get to look hot. We take a cougar road trip, which is gonna be amazing, and then something else happens on that that I can't tell you. There is something involving space. That's all I'm gonna say. She's not guest starring. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but she will be a part of the season, but she is not guest starring at all. Underline those words. <laughs> well, yeah, man, we did we did a dance episode, we did a what if it, what if episode. From the beginning, I was pitching a musical episode. So, since we did the dance episode, I think that's kind of as close as I'm going to get. Um, but then this year we also have a we have a Christmas episode coming up, so that should be very fun. I'm very excited because we are going to be doing a holiday episode this this year so that should be interesting I would like the switch to be Catherine and Regina I would like to be the lady of leisure in the big house with the husband and the two point whatever children and that socioeconomic level and what that would be like and to how to play the problems that way and then I want to see Leah Thompson as the the recovering alcoholic single mother living in my back house um, I would like to see that because that would be incredibly incredibly different this this half of season three of Switch to Birth in two words is freaking crazy topsy-turvy renewal would I think would be one word shocking and drastic and gnomes are an inside joke between Vanessa Morano and myself 
first season I gave everybody as a rap gift I gave everybody a gnome and Vanessa thought it was really strange and really hilarious it's like a pirate it's like a pirate accent like I'm from Scotland 